Hey everyone, so Lunar New Year is coming up in February. So before that arrives, I am going to start on my deep clean of all the things in my apartment. But before I do that, I wanna give you all a tour of my reselling death pile, what it's like in its current state before I start like organizing and getting things in a better place. So let's go ahead and get into the death pile tour. All right, so right off the bat, there's a lot going on here. These shirts here are part of a whatnot haul and it's a little bit mixed up in the sense like I have to um, get some stains out of some things. Um, some of these items have holes so I have to figure out what I want to do with that. More whatnot haul inventory on the floor in this bag. So that Marshall's bag contains a lot of Christmas sweaters. I did a haul um, on Christmas items but I didn't list these in time for Christmas so I'm going to leave these for next year and actually if I do really well at listing things I might just list them and just have it there in time for Christmas, even though that's 12 months away. But. So this stuff has been listed. I just have to put it in its bin. Right. So over here in the corner, we have lots of books. So sometime, I don't know if it was 2023 or maybe it was 2022, I was really into going to garage sales and I was hauling books and selling those books on Amazon. And at some point with all things, I fell off. So I have a huge pile of books. There's these books here. I have this box of books. Um, I have a bin of books that I just need to decide either I need to get rid of them um, or I need to decide like if I'll list them on eBay or if I'll continue with Amazon. I'm not really sure what I want to do with it. And this is how unorganized it is. Like you have some books, you have some shoes. This is listed item that's not put away. I have yet another pile full of whatnot items that I haul. These I already took them out of the box and like gave them a look over. So it's just a matter of listing them. But I don't like all these piles. And I have several of these piles just kind of all over the place. This is the whatnot haul you've seen in my last video. You did see my whatnot haul that I still need to go through and process. But this box here is actually new. This just arrived today. So it's another big box of inventory. More inventory. This has been sitting there for probably two months. Um, I have hauled a lot of shoes recently because it was for a really great price and they're like pretty much new. So this stack here is my current shoe pile. More shoes. Got some boots. So I have a lot of these bins, but I now have the horrible habit of just like putting stuff on top of the bin and it's super messy. Like this needs to be listed. I really like this decorating book and I thought someone else would like it. So I was thinking of listing it on eBay. So it's just like a cluttered mess here. And this is definitely something I want to get organized and cleaned up. I have like random boxes. Now this is not a whatnot haul. This has been sitting here for quite a while. I don't even know what's inside. Oh, okay. At one point in time, I did a lot of Goodwill auctions and I had purchased this lot of glasses and glasses frames and it came with like cases. Kind of a pain to like go through all of them. So I know I went through like a handful. I have sold some glasses cases. I've actually sold some frames um, for pr some pretty decent money, but it's just one of those things like it's kind of a pain to go through and list. So I kind of just put it off, but I need to not do that because there's a lot of things here that could be making me money and it's just collecting dust, but lots of frames. And I'm not sure if anyone else does this, but I pop out the lenses and I just sell the frames. And that kind of is kind of a pain to do as well, which can be annoying when you have like several to do. But that's a good example of like, I don't even know what sort of inventory I have anymore because it's been sitting for so long and it's just, and it's just not at the forefront of my mind. All right, so here I have two clothing racks. So these clothing racks started that I would put items on the clothing racks and those were the things that I were gonna focus on listing. But gradually these just got overwhelmed with things. And now I just use it to hold inventory that's not listed. But I have all these clothes here, I have these here. So these shirts here, before I started buying things on Whatnot again, I actually purchased like a reselling box from one of those websites that they always promote, like reselling boxes, new with tags. We get it from Nordstrom's, Macy's, all those places. So I ended up buying this reselling box. In the listing, they said it was like Hot Topic shirts. Now I had purchased at one point 
a box of Hot Topic shirts from the Goodwill auction. And I actually did really, really well with those shirts. So I was like, let me purchase these Hot Topic shirts. They'll do well again. I mean, I had good luck last time. Hopefully I'll have the same luck. And the haul that I got was so awful and it was just it's just sitting here and since it's so terrible like i haven't really i've listed like a handful of shirts from the haul they're just not great and i'm not excited to list it so it's just been sitting on this rack like this here created to lead like okay some people say that like religious shirts in apparel do well but i'm not sure would this count Does, would someone want this oh yeah i don't know i'm not excited about it Oh no, I actually like this one. <laughs> I actually like this one. Like there's this one here. Like I don't know what this is. I don't know what it means. I don't know if it's popular. And it has like shirts like these that are very specific that they're like for a niche amount of people. And this here, see how it has a stain? So not only is this kind of like a niche type shirt, it also has a stain. Several of these shirts in this haul had a stain, so. And I have like several bags on the floor. So this is a hamper. So these things have already been listed to one platform, but I need to cross list it to another platform. So my rule going forward is that I cross list everything right away because if I just cross list it to one platform and then I tell myself like, oh, I'll just, when I have time, I'll cross list it and I never come back to it. These need to be cross listed. Several bags on the floor like this of just things like this also needs to be cross listed. It didn't fit in the hamper. These are already listed and need to be inventoried and they've just been sitting here collecting dust, not inventoried. But thankfully, I rarely sell any pants. So when I do, I know where it is. So we have a Marshall's bag full with little Marshall's bag. So I at one point was buying a lot of retail arbitrage because new with tags was doing really well for me or it seems to do well for me like selling quickly at least so this is a halloween sweater that i picked up so i'll buy something retail arbitrage and then if it sells right away i'll buy like one of something and then if it sells right away i'll just go back and get another because at my marshall's and tj maxx they, they tend to have like several of the same type of shirt or sweater but this one is like a mummy sweater i had sold one really quickly and then I went out and bought another one and I didn't list it right away. So it just kind of sat. That is like a horrible habit that I have um, of not listing things right away. All right. So here you can see it's a Goodwill bag. And whenever I go to visit my dad, I always go to the Goodwill near his house. Um, it used to have a lot of good stuff and now it's just really overpriced. We have a guitar purse. That's a couple shirts in there. This has been sitting around since December. Oh my gosh, my dogs are so nosy. They always want to see what's going on, what I'm giving attention to, things that are not them. All right. I love you. Oh, this is a vase. I thought this was pretty cool. This is from Slovenia. And I liked it because it had a little dragon. Okay, try not to be afraid. This is one of my closets. It looks insane. So at some point, this was organized and eventually it became unorganized. I don't know what happened, but I really want to get this closet organized. But it has a mixture of things. Like some things have been listed and I just stored it in this closet. But there are several little boxes here. Full of like miscellaneous things. Like this has like a purse, a mug um a game a figurine this has a little christmas this is a christmas candle holder that i got at a garage sale i have these cookbooks that i've been hauling when i was like selling books there is a puzzle right here so this entire bin is just things i forgot about and haven't listed it's just kind of sitting here Oh my gosh, this is so disorganized. I hate it. I definitely, looking at this closet, I definitely can find a better way, a better way to utilize this space. But that's to come in my organization video. Oh, and some of you might have seen this in the background of my last video. So this is a Christmas shirt that I purchased. Someone had already purchased one of these shirts from me and I got another one to resell and I never listed it on time. Christmas has already passed and this has just been hanging on my wall 
for pretty much a month. So now we are back in the bedroom and in the bedroom is another hot mess. So these things here, as you can see, they're in bags. These have been cross-listed and listed, but they haven't been put in the computer with an inventory number. So they've just been sitting on my floor and I just have some random stuff here. I have my scale. I have another Marshall's bag, which means that's unlisted inventory that I, at some point I put this in my room here and I was like, oh, I'm going to leave this bag here because I'm going to list that. And then I never did. It's just been sitting here. And lastly, I'm not going to take these out of these bags here because it's just going to be a mess. I have these in the corner of my bedroom, which I hate. I think it looks ugly. I really just don't like things sitting, not making money. But at the same time, that's a me problem because I didn't list them. Um, if I did list them and put them away, that'd be like a different story. But these two big bags have clothing. This bin and this bin. This bin down here has clothing. This bin here has miscellaneous, has earrings. It has like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It has maybe electronic. It's just a box of miscellaneous sitting in the corner, not doing anything but taking up space and looking ugly. So that is for the most part where my death pile is right now. I definitely have plenty of inventory um that i need to get listed and cross listed and i'm certain that if i go into my other closet that i'll find things that is more inventory because you know sometimes things just tend to end up in the closet and forgotten about <laughs> But anyways, I hope I get this all sorted and cleaned in time for Lunar New Year to bring in all that good luck and prosperity. So I'll keep you all updated on how things go.